Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and in this lesson, we're going to be taking the package that we built in the previous lesson. We're going to be putting it on GitHub and hosting it on packages so that other users can download it. So to give you a quick uh, synopsis of the package that we created, it was called PHP Artisan Joke, and basically it would go out on the internet and grab a random joke and then bring it back so we could see it in the console. So we can do as many times as we want, and you can see it gets a different joke each time. Now, if you didn't follow along, you can grab the source code uh, on GitHub when we are done. By the time this video is published, it will be live. So you can uh, clone, or sorry, you could probably fork the repository and you could follow along with this video. But for now, I'm gonna go over to my dashboard and inside my Lair Academy, what I wanna do is I wanna create a new repository. So I'm just gonna click the new button here, and once GitHub loads up, we are gonna have the repository name as Artisan Joke. And let me just go into Sublime Text and grab that description, just so we have it here. All right, so the description is in there. This is gonna be a public repository, and um, I'm gonna initialize it with a readme for now. And let's also add a license of MIT, just so we have something in there. Then normally what I would do is I would create the repository first and then I would clone this repository and do all the work in the repository itself and then commit. But because we didn't really do anything that in the initial video, I'm gonna just do the simple way. Because we don't have a lot of files here, we can get away with this. We can click the upload files and basically what I wanna do is upload the artisan joke directory here. So I'm gonna open up my containing folder which has our composer.json now it also has some of the other files that we worked on here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything in the main folder here and just drag and drop it into GitHub here. GitHub will then notice that we have the different folder structure and everything and it will put that in for us. Now I'm gonna commit my changes. I'll just say initial release version and I wanna make sure that I commit directly to the master branch. Now. Sometimes we would make a PR and then commit it that way and do a pull request. But for now, let's just keep it simple and let's commit directly to the master branch. So I'm gonna hit commit and GitHub's gonna process our files. And then once it's, done, once it's done, we'll be back to the code version here. So you can see that we have a little bit of a readme. We have the license in there and all of our code is automatically in there. The next thing we wanna do is switch over to packages. And I've already logged into my account, so create an account if you haven't. What I wanna do is I wanna submit a new package. So actually all I have to do is provide the repository and because I'm using GitHub, I can just take the URL here and I can just paste it into that repository. Then all I need to do is click the check function here. That's gonna go and check for other packages that might be named the same. And you can see that the package name found for your repository is this. Press submit to confirm. So that is 100% correct. So I'm going to hit submit. And packages should take over and put everything here for us. Now, if there was another package named the same, you might get a little bit of a warning saying that there's other packages. Are you sure you want to continue? But in my case, there was only one package like this, so we're good. Now on this page, it is actually showing that the package is not on auto update. So we need to set up a GitHub service hook. So we could click this and it will basically take us to the packages information for us. But let's actually switch over to GitHub and let's click on settings for a repository. And what we wanna do is go into integration and services. And then in here we wanna add a service and all we need to do is type in packages and that will show up in the list. Now, after that, we have to come down and we're gonna to have to fill in a couple different things here. The only real thing that we need is gonna be the user and the token. So I'll need to fill in my username and then my token, and we can actually find them if you click on packages and then you go into profile. I'm gonna do this off screen just because they are private settings. So now I have my user in there and I have my API token. I'm just gonna click add service and you'll see that it's gonna be automatically active when the event is triggered. So I'm gonna click on add service and now basically GitHub services <laughs> looks like we're 
doing this at a special time. Um, so this is actually in there, and as long as everything is good, we should be able to look at this, and everything's in there. Okay, so even though we have this warning here, let's kind of push through it. What we can do is on the integration, we can test the service here. So when we click that button, a payload is going to be sent on its way over to packages. So all we really have to do is wait a couple minutes. We can refresh the page. And once that test package goes through, you can no you'll see that we no longer have that message there. So what's actually happening behind the scenes is anytime we release a, an update for this package on GitHub, packages is automatically going to see that because they're going to get, um, they're going to get a payload and they're going to update the information here. So, Right now, our package is live, but we can't really download it. So what we have to do on GitHub is we have to create a release. Now, the release is just going to contain everything that's in here. So we can just click on releases, and then we'll say create new release. We'll set the version tag as 1.0 and make sure that we are going to use the master branch. We can give it a title, so I'll just say initial release. And if you had any notes, any changes, you would put them in here. Now, I'm just gonna publish this release. And once I do that, what's gonna happen is GitHub has told packages that there is a new release. So if I come back over to packages, right now you can see the only one that I have is dev master. I'm not sure if we've waited long enough, but let's reload the page, see if that kicked in. And it has, so right now we have a 1.0 package. So what that means is now we can load up a default or any version of Laravel that we have and try a composer install. So let me actually create a fresh copy of Laravel here and do a composer install. So now with some editing magic, I have a fresh copy of Laravel here. Nothing has been installed or anything. It's just a basic composer um, create. If I switch over to my terminal, I can do a PHP artisan and you can see here, we don't have the joke command in there. And then scrolling up a little bit higher, you can see that we're running uh, Laravel 5.6. So what we're actually gonna do is do a composer require. Oops, I'm gonna copy the name that I have here. And I think we've waited long enough for the service to push everything out. So we'll say composer require, and we'll just paste that in. And as long as we've waited the initial amount of, sorry, the amount of time it's taken for packages to push all the changes out, it should be able to pull that in. And you can see it's using 1.0. And what it's actually doing is it's gonna take all our dependencies. So it's gonna pull in Guzzle for us automatically. And then once it's done, Laravel's gonna take over and do the automatic discovery. And you can see right there, we have a discovered package. So that means that I should be able to look at PHP Artisan now. And if I scroll up to the top, we now have our joke commands. Let's try and run that. Let's say PHP Arson joke, and hopefully it will fire off, and you can see that we now have a joke. So now everyone can come here and install this package, and any time that we make an update, so someone says, you know what, I also wanna use this API, the only thing you really have to do is once you make your code changes, you really need to just do a new release. So you'll draft a new release, and then once you have everything here, you'll publish it. And doing that will automatically update packages and everyone that has your package will be able to pull that in or do an update automatically. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. At this point, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, please consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please help by passing the word around. Thanks a lot for watching.